everyone. My name is Junko Azukawa. Today I'd like to show you how to grind your ink stick and for how long you're supposed to grind. Um, making your own ink is not only the preparation but also a settling of your mind. Getting ready for the creative moment is as important as the actual action of painting. I'll demonstrate how I grind my ink stick and when to stop. Here I have two different ink stones. This large one is called Tankaken from China. It has beautiful carving artwork around the edge. Some of you might have a simple palm size ink stone like this, but today I will demonstrate with this large one so you can see it better. And I will use this ink stick made in Japan. And the water dropper which you don't really need if you don't have one. First, pour some water onto this flat surface where you grind your ink stick. Not much, small amount, enough to sit on the surface. Make circles like this. I love this sound. Some people make a zigzag. Some might be more comfortable to move clockwise, some anti-clockwise. You don't need to push too hard against the stone like this. The weight of your hands is enough to grind an ink stick. Enjoy this moment. Your mind is always busy thinking about many things at the same time. Sometimes what you're doing and what you're thinking about are not the same. You're making ink, but you might be thinking about something completely different. As you grind your ink stick, your mind becomes calm and begin to focus on this moment. Mindset will create real artwork which holds some life and powerful messages. Brush marks are the reflection of yourself, so you need to devote the whole of yourself, body, mind, and spirit to the moment. Okay, I'll fast forward time a bit. grounded for about five minutes let's have a look at the thickness of the ink on the rice paper hmm ink rounds on the paper as soon as the brush touches the ink tone is quite dark but still runny I'll keep grinding for another five minutes Now, you start seeing the surface of the ink stone where the ink stick just passed. This is a good sign that ink is really black and thick. Let's have a look at the ink on the rice paper again. Ink doesn't run instantly anymore and you can paint strong black lines. This is the thickness we want. If you want to make more ink, keep the thick ink in the well and simply add a little bit of water onto this flat surface again. Then 
grind the ink stick until the ink is ready. It took me about 10 minutes to make some ink, but each ink stone and an ink stick is different, so it might take shorter or longer for you to make your own ink. After I finish using my ink stick, wipe the ink off with some rice paper to keep the surface of the stick clean and smooth. I hope this demonstration was useful for you. I'll see you in the next video. Happy painting!